All right, one of the last things left on the wings is the struts. And by jolly, this might be a short video for my standards anyway. Um, what I've done so far is basically taken these guys, cleaned them up, deburred them. Same thing with these, the edges, just deburred them, polished them, got rid of the high spots. And then I put a piece of tape and then I put this string, I have a loop, oh, well, just barely catches on there and so i have a, a loop at the end put something through it put the string pull it tight pull it through this hole this hole and then just clamp it so it has some tension on it um and then what i do i don't know if you can tell is i put two little marks kind of right to the left right to the left to the left and to the right of it and uh, i do that here and there as well now i'm going to remove the string draw a line um i, I did actually drill these out to, to 5 16 and you're supposed to put a, I don't know, like a 5 16 bolt or something in it, but it, I was just kind of fighting with it. So I took a 5 <coughs> 16 drill bit and uh, and just cleaned them up. They're gonna get oversized anyway, to a 7 16 I believe. So that allows me, you'll see, to, you know, fit the part of the drill bit through there without without any play oops no. <laughs> to get the other holes lined up basically what you want to do is just get that lined up on this line drill and clico those holes and then upsize them all to i believe these are going to be number 11s and this will be the 7 16 bolt All right, got them all drilled. And uh, now I'm basically gonna just put them on the inside like this. Um, drill these out and rivet them in. And when I did have these set up, I, I had the drill bit, which is pretty tight, but I wanted it so it goes through to the other side. So it's um, straight, you know, like, there's no skewing as far as angle. All right, so that's five times eight. So that's 40 of these you have to put in. And uh, what I did here is just to minimize the stink inside is I went outside and sprayed a bunch of the self-etching primer into a glass and then dipped the rivets in that. And I just uh, kind of went over with a scotch spray pad. Now I gotta drill this out to seven sixteenths. Um, I did this one already and Pretty much the only thing I can do is clamp this on here. I have no way of getting that into the drill press over there. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. Okay, got all those drilled out and then I went ahead and uh, actually fit these things in. Um, ironically enough, 
It says the side with the generous radius is bolted to the tanks on the cage. Got it. Leave the bolt loose enough that the lower attached fitting can swivel freely. Well, I'll tell you that the three quarter inches or whatever they give you there is pretty tight. So once you rivet those in, you can kind of see these protrude down just a little bit. It's not like I had dirt or anything under there. I was very careful. And uh, when I take it with a pair of pliers, you know, it can sandwich them. Anyway, long story short, getting these guys in is kind of tough. What I did, um, I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I just put a tiny little uh, chamfer on the far end, just enough to get it started, and then kind of hammered them in with a rubber mallet. Um, got them lined up to where the bolts go through, so that was good. And as you can tell, the bolts are not tight, but these guys are not moving freely. So um, if, I, if I hold the, the strut down, I, I can move them, and we'll deal with that when we get to installing it on the cage. But um, yeah, both of these were pretty tight. So super tight tolerances, and that's without even tightening the bolt. Next, we'll be back on the wing. The uh, truss has these tangs on it, and uh, I gotta, I guess I gotta take them off again and then drill them out to seven, seven sixteenths to fit that, that long bolt through there as well. And that'll be tomorrow's project. Good night. I'm lying. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And if I disappear into the basement, I'll probably be sure to get coal. So I'll see you after Christmas. All right, it's after Christmas. It's actually even after New Year's. We're into the January 4th, 2022. Took a few days off to the project at work. And now I took those tangs off and I made myself this little spacer. Um, it's exactly one and a half inches thick times one and a quarter wide, which is the width between the bars. And uh, basically gonna drill. I already started to do it, seems to be going pretty good. And I just figured I'd capture it. So drilling that out on the drill press. And these, oh yeah, the reason I made the spacer is because I guess these were form uh, drilled inside the truss and if you sandwich them together they're close but they're not a hundred percent aligned so I decided to space them off again hoping that the holes will give it enough guidance I marked each one so this is the right upper one and same thing with with the left side here so left down left up and uh, hopefully hopefully it all works guys bolted in again, I have to say, not too loose, not too tight, I'm happy how that fits. Sure, if this is the right angle or not. Okay. So, assuming the heads go down, which I think they do, I have to double check. But you can actually reach through this access panel. I was able, I was able to get the nuts on this one by reaching through here. But this this goes pretty good. I think we're in good shape. Pretty happy. All right, one last update and nope. so to attach these nylon tubes to the these are quarter inch nylon tubes to the three sixteenths aluminum tube that comes out of the Garmin pedo tube. They had you 
do this elaborate thing and I ended up buying all these pieces and I got stuck not having the 37 degree flare tool and I didn't want to buy it and I did a little more research on the Stein website and sure enough for eight dollars they have this piece which uh, is 3 16ths on one end slides right onto there and quarter inch on the other end which will slide right onto there and the way I have this set up is I had these things like kind of wire tied like this while I was waiting for those pieces to come in. So they kind of give it a perfect angle. So I'm just gonna cut it at where they sit nicely right here. They go straight in. I'm gonna snip them. I did by the uh, super duper pipe cutting tool to make sure they're straight. And then snap those in and that will finish the pitot tube. But um, according to Stein, they said this is all they use and they're every bit as reliable as um, all of these fancy AN fittings. You can see I probably spent like 50 bucks getting all the little pieces <laughs> that oh, I'm not even gonna use. Unless those plastic um, quick release things fail. Hopefully not.